In this video, I have to beat the one-hit challenge on every single Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies map. Now, in case you're new around here, you'll know that I'm not very good at Call of Duty Zombies, so I found this challenge pretty painful. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Last video, I said if we broke 15k, I'd be happy, but we broke 16.5k by the time I'm uploading this video. Let's see if we can hit 17k by the end of the week. Ambitious, I know, but this is exactly what I said in the last video, and you guys smashed it. So with all that said, enjoy this video. Right, okay, we're starting off with a banger shadows of evil we are not allowed to take a single hit off the zombies otherwise the map changes well you know it's not really scripted to do that but with the power of video editing i could definitely do that like i said at the start of the video the goal for this is to get to around round 10 maybe round 15 at a push i'm not feeling too confident about this considering i am on no sleep but you know what we push through it we push through it gotta get that content out for you guys i am not risking a damn thing i am just going to be taking my distance and shooting them accordingly that is the most british sentence i've ever said in my life okay still yet to take a hit and i know a lot of you could be thinking i could be cutting out parts where i'm getting hit but honestly it's not worth my trouble to do that i am going to grab this and run away because they spawn in and although they're not zombies they do still stow still count as hits if a keeper touches me so grab an rk5 and it's beautiful cherry fizz camo i love playing on boys for the sheer fact that i can have all the camos and guns and attachments that i want without having to grind for it again because i already did that on console don't want to do that stuff again you need to be careful because these zombies do have a habit of just popping out of these portals along with the keepers you know but the zombies do end up showing up there as well like that yeah the rituals are definitely going to be the hardest part about this we're doing well though we're doing well okay grab the gateworm and let's get out of here oh my god little bit too close suppose it's not really a point in grab and quick revive if, what if one of us hits them once game over we've got double points in there that's nice are we running shopping free yes we are i'm gonna go try hit up the gobble gun machine see if we can get a cheeky early start would really help out if we could get oh, oh my god the game loves us i was gonna say it would really help out if we can get some like early guns and stuff and get the rituals done at an early round because it means zombies won't be swarming us all right get that oh what am i doing what am i doing no 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 don't waste the shopping free bro let me move there we go that was absolutely silly for me really was about to go into beast mode and waste my entire higher shopping free okay we'll get the waterfront side open we can probably get canals open too if we don't push too far into each district there we go and we should be able to quickly run over to canals and get all that open kill off a lot of the round three hordes i don't want things to get too hectic though once they start running games are bogey oh we're not making that door that's because i was messing about in beast mode like an idiot oh my god that as well when they do like the super saiyan jump the mogwas might be a bit of an issue bees as well our oh, bees are going to be in the notorious for it unless we're like on our game today and i don't think i'm gonna be because like i said zero hours sleep i am grinding out the new year for you guys we might be seeing a loss here at round six who knows who knows we could be we could be doing good we could be doing good oh my god too close too close too close all right okay i am gonna take the liberty of finding the box is it up here no we should also probably get the shield built because that can probably end up saving us a couple of times okay that's round where's the box is that a canal oh my god i've never seen it spawn there straight off the bat but yeah i have got some wicked stuff planned for 2024 so if you guys are new around here you haven't already make sure to smash that like button and if you do like the content that you've seen subscribe i know i said it once in the intro but come on i'm trying to get a 25k before the end of the year i think we can do it it'll be it'll be a tough one though that is a big goal so another 10k of you is there even another 10k zombies fans out there still who knows and i know a lot of you guys in the comments have been asking for it i've turned game sound up just a smidge i, I hope you can hear it because i'm gonna sound like a bit of a pleb if you can't but i hope this is enough if not i will turn up even more in the later videos the only problem i have with that is i don't want it to overpower my voice that's the main threat i have with balance and audio and stuff because i've never been too good at it so i hence i just mute it and we are kind of just procrastinating here let's get these rituals done all right let's jump into beast mode procrastinating in cod zombies i've officially hit a new low get that on and can we make this yep here and we'll quickly run down here and get the ritual site opened up there's the shock box there we go but yeah b round might be a bit rough same if we get past b round meatball round will be even worse oh my god i didn't even see that zombie there give me the badge run away because the keepers are going to spawn in again okay they're both dead in the box again because although it's a really high power weapon the svg is not my cup of tea the hvk is though i hear him sprinting where is he stay away all right round five halfway there ish like I said, depends on how I'm feeling. I might go for 15. I don't know. Okay, let's get the second ritual going. I'm gonna try and keep my distance away from these keepers and zombies. We do get hit here. It actually is game over. And also Magua, that's gonna be a bit of a doozy. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. They're all dead. For now, at least. 
Now, this isn't a no damage run, so I can jump out of here and take fall damage. I'm just not allowed to get hit. I can't stress that enough. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let me out, let me out, let me out. I want out. All right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're out. Big open space, big open playing field. We don't even really need perks apart from ones that help with firepower, to be fair. Widow's Wine, Jug, and all that, they're kind of useless. Stamina might be a bit useful. I mean, that's the first head of the mark we're gone. Or oh, the Apothecary Servant would come in clutch. Get away, B. Get away, B. My God, are these things annoying. Where's that B? Where's that B? Right, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, they are my main concern. You do get a little bit of a window, though, to kill them, which is nice. All right, grab the Margo Heart, because we might actually be able to build the Apothecary Servant. I don't know. I'm going to grab a Cuda off the wall instead of the KRM. It's really posing a lot of issues for me, and I don't know why. Yeah, B round. Okay, I need to be on my A game. Oh, I don't think I should be out in the open for this, but there's I've got no other choice, man. Oh, they're spawning in. They're spawning in. They're spawning in. Never in my life have I been so terrified of a B round. This might. This is definitely going to be the downfall of Shadows, man. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, there we go. Yep, we got hit. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we made it 10 minutes in, though. <laughs> okay, onto the giant. Jesus. All right, the giant. I was not expecting to see this map so soon, but, you know, the bees on Shadows of Evil, I kind of didn't think that one through. It was going to happen eventually. You know, with their whole, like, flying thing and their, like, aimbot. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It's fine, though, right? I'm gonna stay away from these windows to an extent as I am not a terrible zombies player, but sometimes they do have a habit of just reaching through and, like, insta-hitting you, and I don't understand why. So, you know, as per usual, keep my distance, but I'll go in for the knives on round one. Of course, you gotta, you gotta. Feeling good about the giant, to be fair with you. I feel like this is one of them clips where I'll say I'm feeling good or the first night's not even that bad and then uh, my funny Markiplier jump scare. You get what I mean? You get what I'm trying to put down here? No, if not, do do your homework. Anyway, lobotomy ran over. I am honestly feeling very good about the giant. I feel like we're going to get at least round 10 without getting hit. I'm going to grab myself an RK5 as well because I do not trust the MR6 past round 1, apart from if they're that far away and I'm able to get some points on them. But it definitely does not kill them. And the RK5 does. In case you guys didn't see the community post as well, Happy New Year. I hope this year brings you nothing but joy and love and peace among the ones that you surround yourself with and just a million bajillion dollar. You know, that's my New Year's resolution. I want a million dollars, please. It's conversion rates, that's like 750k. But yeah, I thought last video was a nice little send-off towards the Easter Egg series. Now, it doesn't mean I'm necessarily done with it, like I said in the video, but Treyarch side of things, we're all done there. There's literally nothing else to do, apart from, you, you, would you guys want to see a World at War video where I do one whole Easter Egg and maybe some, like, music ones that'd be, like, four minutes long? Right, okay, we are officially out of ammo. I'm gonna grab this nuke. Get this first door open. Shopping free? No. What are we getting? Round robin. Okay, that'll do. I am gonna grab myself a VMP, because it is an amazing gun. And we'll flip the round as well, just so we can keep pressing on. Halfway there, round five. Not bad, not bad. If we get to round 10, though, I feel like I'm gonna go, wanna go on to round 15, so I'm just gonna push myself as hard as I can for you guys. No holding back. It's the New Year's, it's the 3rd of January. Gotta make myself into a better zombies player somehow. Oh, I am so excited to lay what I've got planned for 2024 on you guys once, the, once them videos drop, man. One of them, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. It's cause something completely different, and I don't just mean like, oh, different game, different, no, 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 no. This is something like, that's gonna take me a while to cook up but once it's out oh oh i'm just so excited one of them things that definitely take a lot of passion and a lot of patience so it won't be coming out straight away but it is definitely in the works kind of i wouldn't say it's in the works yet so to speak i'm kind of going off my backlog of ideas first this being one of them and i hope you guys are enjoying the video so grab a carpenter and a max ammo and that since we are running low already but we do have 4k points so let's crack this door open start getting the teleporters linked there we go Got a couple of more zombies just dotted about okay he's running next round should be a dog round so so I'm going to try and keep my distance as much as possible. We'll go link this teleporter first. There we are. Yeah, it's a dog run. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Does involve me running a little bit, though. Oh, God. Oh, don't like this. I don't like this. Get me on the catwalk. Get me on the catwalk, please. There we are. And because BO3 dogs are BO3 dogs, they pop like balloons. Honestly, this is fine. The VMP should be more than enough to take care of them. And there won't be enough to overwhelm me. It's round six, first dog round. One more. There we are. And there's our max ammo. Nice. Grab that. And I am also going to grab the KN4. 44. Christ, we might as well be doing a wall gun challenge as well. By the way, if you guys have any challenges that you'd love to see me do, please comment them down below. I'm always open to ideas. I don't just want to go off on what I can think of. If you guys want to see something, please, please comment it down below and I will be sure to write it down. I do just have a bit of a backlog at the minute, so you will have to bear with. But if I see one that really piques my interest, you'll get a heart in the comments and the video will probably come out. So who knows? Try your luck. Right, let's get this second teleporter linked here. There we are. Okay, let's not get overwhelmed, but we've got the KM44. It's our highest damage weapon. That is a nuke. I think I think I'm just going to grab that, just for the sake of it getting rid of them all. Now, where is Double Tap? Is it in here? No, it's an OG Jug location. Okay, okay, we've got some zombies dropping down. 
one. Another carpenter. Oh, double taps here. Alright, I'm gonna grab it. I think that's his actual location in Derry, so we're chilling, we're chilling. The safest place for us right now is probably the catwalk. I don't know why I'm still running around. I just kind of want to double tap just so we're chilling without pack-a-punch, at least for a little bit. Yeah, see, bro, this is easy round 15. Don't even. The rising track might be a bit of a different story, though, so getting the bows and stuff, filling up the dog heads, bro, that's gonna be a doozy. Fine, though. I'm the best zombies playing in the northeast. It's fine, it's fine. It's not really much competition there. Hence why I said it, but to be fair, actually, I can't remember if Tom Syndicate is from the northeast. I don't know what part of England he's from. If he's from the northeast, then he's definitely better than me. Then again, his 115 run was faked, according to a lot of people, so I guess the only way to sell it's a 1v1. Syndicate, I'm all ears, bro. Okay, we are running a little bit on K... Running a little bit on KN ammo. I just forgot to say low. Right, okay. VMP's great and all. It just does not retain its ammo very well. You find that with a lot of guns in BO3, like the Vesper and stuff. HVK burns through its ammo as well pretty fast. Oh, that one is very high damage in comparison with these. I'm just more concerned about this window here, because I'm, like, looking out here to shoot them, and if they come around here and smack me, bro, it's game over. Right, okay, that's round. We're one round away from the initial goal. If we get to 10, I'm going to 15. That's what we agreed on. Where's the box at? That's it, Z, boy. Oh, that is such a bad location for the box for this challenge, man. I reckon we can get one hit in before it, like, goes to hell in a handbasket quickly. See, they're already sprinting at me, man. And it gave me the Shiva. The Shiva. Okay, we're well, lucky we got that headshot on that zombie there. I am just gonna run and grab some KN ammo and just play it safe. Double tap seems to be faring us quite well. I don't think we really need pack up punch. It's only round nine. That's what I mean, man. They come at you from there. Oh, to be fair, with double tap, the Shiva is not half bad. Is that, a, is that that's a double headshot and it's a okay. Double headshot kills not too shabby. Around nine anyway for a wall weapon. That's in the spawn room. All the wall weapons on BO3 are honestly great, apart from maybe like the Pharaoh and the LCAR9. Even then the Pharaoh's not even that bad. It just gets a lot of hate. I'd rather have literally anything else, but if I had to use it, it's not necessarily that bad of an SMG. I just don't like the burst fire aspect. Leave that down on your comment as well. Maybe like your favorite gun in BO3 or something? I don't know. I'm gonna try to get more interaction in 2024 on the channel. So just flood the comment section with a bunch of rambles. I don't know. Okay, round 10. We've reached our initial goal. We are definitely going for 15 though. Yeah, the KN is still serving us pretty well. Got a max ammo there. I'm gonna try and maximize that. The weapon kit is definitely making it a lot more bearable. I think if we didn't have the fast mags attachment, it, we would have been a little bit more stuck for firepower here, but I think we're chilling. I don't think we're gonna be able to push that max ammo without the risk of getting hit, actually. But we do really need it, man. Oh, we got hit! No, man! Oh, uh, okay, okay. Fine, 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 fine. On the Derizon Drag we go. Oh, my God. What a joke, man. Right, okay. The third map on the chopping block, Derizon Drag. Now, this is the map that's notorious for pulling off trick shots with bows while the zombies coming towards you, bringing Dempsey back down from the moon, escorting keepers, and we've got to do all that without getting hit. Well, not the Easter egg stuff, but, you know, it's a lot of zombies at that one window. I'll try to keep my distance from that. Oh, they're really liking the spawning groups, huh? Right, okay. See, I don't like when they do the lunge with the knife because then I feel like I'm going to get smacked by a zombie that's next to me or something. All right, okay, that should be around. Yep, nice one. Hit this gobble gun machine. What we getting? Shopping free straight off the bat. That is perfect. All right, and away we go. Starting to feel nasally. I don't know why. I don't have a cold. I'm not sick. I've not been in contact with anybody who is sick. I just get like this sometimes. I don't know why. It just means that I'm usually going to sneeze a bunch. Hay fever? It's middle of January. I don't know. Grab the Bowie knife as well. Why not? Oh my god, that looks so funny with a bean and pig. All right, okay. And let's not focus on the undercroft door. I think I'm just going to get the box open and try to get a decent gun. Get this door open as well. That is the HVK. Right, we can also loop back through to spawn here if we're fast. Go, 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 go. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? No, no chance. Okay. We do have dogs on this map again, which are definitely manageable. Spiders on Zetsubo are going to be terrible. Valkyries on GK. Why do they make all the, like, max ammo rounds on BO3 so annoying and not, like, actually difficult? Okay, we need to start looking for shield pieces as well. Which, luckily for me, I know, like, the back of my hand. There's our second one. Our first one's back towards the first dragon. There it is. Very nice. That zombie just die out. Bro, that should be round, hopefully. No? Okay, where's this last zombie? Come on. The game's playing with me now. I'm gonna get jump scared by him. There he is. That wasn't even last, bro. Why is round two so long he's sprinting? Uh, wait, round two sprinters? What? Okay. This run's already going off through a weird start. Let's get this first dragon head filled up, then shall we? I'm gonna try to keep our distance from it, though. Quick drink of water, because I want to stay hydrated. That's the thing with pulling all-nighters, man. As soon as you stop keeping your brain occupied, or your brain runs out of, like, fuel, or your stomach runs out of fuel, it's over. You're gonna want to go lie down for 20 minutes, and then you'll wake up at, like, 7pm drenched in sweat. We also have 
that spawn to worry about because we did open that door. Okay, we cannot afford to get hit. I'd rather kill spawns and do this slower than lose the run. Okay, that should be another one. Yep, nice. A nice little death machine here. That is going to slow me down though, so I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, it should be another zombie here. Luckily for us on round three, they do have the tendency to shamble, so... Okay, I believe that should be his second last or maybe his last. Okay, it's his second last. We good? No, okay. Wait, bro, he's a hungry bastard today. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm feeding you. Chill, chill. Is that close enough? Okay, right. I'm just going to get zombie off. I think that should be him. Yeah, nice. Right, okay. We'll teleport these pack a bunch of pieces. We also need to get the ones to buy the death ray, death machine thingy. And then the ones down on rocket test. We also need the last shield piece, which is on the wall, which we need a wall, wall run for. But I usually like saving those pads for the electric boat upgrade. Don't know if we're even going to get as close as to get in that, but I don't know. It's worth a shot, isn't it? Never say never. Okay, start off the second dragon here. Yep, this is what I mean. The spawns just start to pile up. Okay, we got a nuke. That'll do. That'll do. And that ended the round. I didn't want it to do that because now we're going to get even more or possibly dogs. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Bro, they snuck up on me. They, they started spawning before the round change stopped. Right, we're halfway there. Ooh, 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 ooh. They are everywhere. Get rid of some of them. Double points. Okay, run around him. Run around this entire hall. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Just don't get hit, we'll be fine. But the dragons are easy, what do you mean, what do you mean? I mean, saying something and doing it is two completely different things, mine. But we're doing quite well, honestly. We're coming up to the second completion, and that is second completion, good. Right, okay, let's go do the Undercroft one. It's our third and final dragon. If we get this, I'll honestly be proud, bro. Means we technically got the wonder weapon of the map without getting hit. Be really careful, because they can get sneaky in here. Like, they, like, them pillars that zombie was just around, they tend to, like, 180 around them. It's going to be a bad time for us. Because they get the jump on us, it's game over, bro. Okay, I think that's his fourth zombie. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Should be his sixth. One more, one more. All right, yep, he's done. Nice. Now we can go grab the Wrath of the Ancients. And we have officially got the bow without getting hit. All right, let's go try to upgrade this thing. Remember, we're going for round 10. Oh, it might actually be a dog round, so I might I might sit in a Wonder Sphere, to be fair. Yeah, it's a dog round, okay. Turn a death ray on, why not? This looks like it's doing my job for me. It's just, this is sick. Oh, okay, they're starting to spawn in now. All right, there we go. All right, fastest dog round in the world. Let's grab our arrow here. And let's try and give this upgrade process a go. There's one. Uh, is that two? No, just missed. Oh, come on, man. There we go, that's two. And our last one is over at Rocket Test. We are still yet to be hit. We're doing good. Three more rounds to go. Okay, let's take the teleport over to Rocket Test. Just so we can get our last bonfire. Like so. Oh, we got hit. No. Oh, my God. We didn't even get round 10, bro. That's embarrassing. I was paying too much attention. I did Oh, round started. I was paying too much attention to the quest. No. Right, okay. Zetsubo no Shima. My, honestly, least favorite BO3 map. But, you know, we got to play it for the video. I got to get out for you guys. I gotta go and bear it. Got the gobblegum machine opened up here. What we getting first off? The oh my god, the game loves me today. Shopping free. I need the bucket. Quickly grab that and away we go. I've only now just clocked that my game is not in full screen. It's not going to make a difference on camera, but I am just going to be really annoyed by a slight inconvenience that really doesn't even affect me. Right, okay. I am completely oblivious to any route I should be taking here, so I'm just trying to go kind of everywhere, and I'm just going to try to get a route at least everywhere open, at least one route, because I don't think with you can... Jesus, I definitely can't speak today. I don't think with one shop and free you can get the entire map open because of the bunker, so I'm going to try to get everywhere else open. I'm going to grab a VMP off the wall here. Oh, if we can get all the skull located, so this will be huge. Oh, this is going to be close. Get that open. And this one. Yep, there we go. Right. And we'll use our points to open this spawn door. Right, now we just need to kill a few of them to get both the generators online because there's another door up there that I didn't manage to open. I also just need to be careful of not getting hit on round one. And I hope that this time we can actually reach our goal because this that last attempt on DE was heartbreaking, man. We were so close to getting the bow upgraded. Got to be so aware. Okay, where is my last zombie? I hear him. There he is. Right, okay, that is round. Perfect. Uh, there's our shield piece as well. There's also a one back over at ZA, which is the first generator, I think. Is it ZA? I don't know. That's deep. That's the reason I'm thinking of. Jesus, he's sprinting on round two. Right, our shield piece is on that tree. Nice one. Okay, the zombies aren't even close to starting to sprint properly yet, minus the one that we just saw back there. But I feel like I'm going to turn a corner with this map and just get smacked out of nowhere. Okay, that's another seed. We're not doing the Easter egg, but they are very useful to have because you can make traps out of them. Okay, we have enough points to get that other generator's door open, so we'll go do this now, just so we can get the bunker open. That there. 
do we have enough water to dump in here or does it have to be a full bucket? Generator needs more radiated water. Okay. Chuck this in here. All right, and that should be that side's temporary power on. And yes, it is because it's gone green. You can see the electricity flowing. Let's go do the same for the other side and we'll get the bunker open. What a tedious power process, might I add. All right, there we are. Chuck this in here. And let's get these bu these this bunker door cracked open. There's going to be a thrasher here. I'm going to try kill straight off the bat. Please don't go in. Did we kill him? Yes, we did. Nice. Let's get this gobblegum machine opened up as well. What are we getting? I think that's Perkaholic. Grab that. It'll help out, but like most of these perks here are kind of useless to me, apart from Electric Cherry, Double Tap, and Speed Cola. And oh, to be fair, there's quite a few that are useful to me. Just all the health and like defense ones are kind of useful. Right, we should probably focus up on getting the furthest door open because that's the uh, master switch for the power. What is this round robin? I will take that. I'm trying to get another shopping free. I don't think we're going to be able to, though. Raindrops. And that is Immolation Liquidation Rate. It should be reset now. I should get shopping free next, next round. Get this door open as well so we can get our last shield piece because that is going to be useful. Where is it now? There we are. Nice. <coughs> oh, Jesus. I need to sneeze. Well, I need it to. Oh, my God. Just felt my brain come up my nose. <coughs> And I'm just going to say this now, if I get hit by a spore, because sometimes they just activate without even needing to shoot them, that doesn't count as getting hit. That's just me coughing. I don't necessarily take any damage, so... Oh, bro, really? All right, well, that was really disappointing from Zetsubo. Go Rod Krovy. Come on, shot free. No, okay, right, they broke the streak. That's not fair. Round Robin, okay. I don't think I'm going to pop that just yet. I think I'm going to try to get all the points off round one, then skip around. But yeah, Go Rod Krovy, honestly, hands down, has to be one of the, if not, best BO3 man. Maps. Just gotta be really careful, man, with stuff like that. Even though there's only three of them and they're walking, once they start bunching up like that, you can't knife them. Right, okay, let's see. That's the fourth zombie. I think there's five zombies on round one, maybe six. I don't know. Yeah, six. Man, I gotta get a new mouse. My scroll wheel is dying because I use it for my melee button. Let me know which one you guys use for your melee button because that's a really controversial topic for a lot of people, apparently. There's a lot of the E enjoyers, there's a lot of the V enjoyers, and for some reason, I'm the odd one out and I use scroll wheel. Right, okay, I'm gonna pop this. And I'm going to quickly grab my gobble gum for this round. Immolation Liquidation. That is very useful on this map. Come on, shop free. No, what is it? Raindrops. I'm keeping the Immolation. We're going to go straight up. Let's get that door open. And we'll head all the way through the power, possibly. I don't know if we've got enough points. I missed the shield piece as well. Uh, oh, wait, it's not on the door. Is it on the chair? It's on the chair. Okay. Quickly grab it before that zombie busts through. Get this door open. And I don't think we have enough for power, but I do think we have enough to get to a box location. Yes, we do. Okay, and I'm going to grab a... Gun straight off the bat using my own uh, own points. And it is the PPSH. Okay. That was honestly the gun I was looking most forward to using. Right. I am going to use my emulation here though. Because why not? He is sprinting. Go away. All right. Okay. Let's get spinning. Don't perch. Don't perch. No, he hasn't. Okay. The Haymaker. The HG40. I don't know why they didn't add the actual MP40 back since they added the PPSH. But, you know, beats me. The FFAR. That is a mint weapon. The Ray Gun. Good. But I'd rather the Mark III. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man of War. Okay. Okay. Dracon, right, no, no, no. I think I'm just going to stick with the mana war. Try to push towards the power switch because I want out of this area. It's far too close quarters. And I think I have a bit of a strap for this map. I'm not going to lie. Get this power switch turned on here. So, because we don't need perks, we can prioritize pack up and straight off the bat. And we literally have catwalks like on Duris here. So we should be chilling. So we're going to be spending most of our time up here. I did this with the round 30 runs that we did for a challenge video like ages ago, I think. So this should come in handy massively. That is our first cylinder as well. Okay, nuke, grab that, grab our first cylinder, and call it in. Where'd it go? Okay, on the right. All right, okay, I'm going to keep my distance from the growth module as well, because I know the zombies can sometimes target you instead of the growth module. Like that, they see, they, 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 they arc away from it just a tad when you get too close. Oh, see, this is the problem with it, though. They all start sprinting. Okay, it's done. All right, open this door and get out. All right, nice. Oh, my God, the dragon! Remember, we have to get hit, not take damage. That doesn't count. Take damage from the fire and survive, okay. It's another cylinder, we've got supply. Fly Depot next. God, this challenge is hard, man. Why have I got the tank factory then? Oh my god. I'm gonna go try and look for this other shield piece here. Is it there? Nope. It means it's gonna be on the wall, and then the other one's on the other side. He's perching here. No, he's not. I am chatting out my ass. It is. And the other one's on the other side in the infirmary. By the bed. By this bed. Nope, it's not there. I think it's in the infirmary. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Oh god, he's walking out his head. Oh my god. 
They get way too close for comfort, man. It's ridiculous. Are we nearly done? Oh my god, he's Baruch sprinting, bro. Right, okay. I am going to get this shield crafted here. There we are. All right, let's go attempt to go get this other code cylinder done. The odds of us doing this, though, is so slim. We barely survived the other one. Okay. Where is it inbound to, though? Where is it? Sounded close-ish. I think it's up here. No, it's over there. The game hates me. Oh, I hate how fast they sprint, man, at this thing. What I might do is wait for them to pile up onto us and then do this. Yep, that seems to work a little bit more. Yep, there we go. It's done. That is the strategy, it seems. Oh, they are on fire as well. Right, okay. We managed to get that done. We have two out of three. As soon as we get Packer Punch unlocked, we're chilling. Surely we're nearly done with this round, right? Oh my god, that was way too close. This is what I mean by turning a corner and just getting smacked. Okay, this PPSH is running out of ammo. I'm gonna go see if I can get a different gun. Oh, I might swap the Man of War out and then wait to pack the PP. I don't know. The Gorgon has got really high headshot damage, but it's terrible for, like, anything else. Tank fell... Attack What? I can't... How? Oh my god. I My brain just actually had a bleed on it there. Jesus Christ. Tank factory code cylinder acquired. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Welcome to another Roman W video where I can't speak English. Okay, I need another gun apart from the BRM. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The NX Shadow Claws. I think that's actually even worse. Oh, the Teddy Bear, man, why? Oh, he hit the shield, he hit the shield. Right, okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's jump up here quick and try to get a gun out the box. There is a box location here, right? It's on the left. Yes, okay. HG40, not bad. That's a Shiva. I thought that was the FFA. Oh, that could have saved me. Oh, the HG40 is not the best, like. We do have the shield, and he remember that. It's basically a thunder gun blast. I am in no position to be doing this code cylinder. Okay, they get a bit too close. Right, okay, shield blast. And we're out of there. Nice. Right, where's the box at? This side. Okay. Come on, juice me up that Mark three. Come on, you know you want to. Oh, bro, bro, this is so scripted. Oh, we are so chilling. All right, we have tank factory and I'm getting a supply depot. My bad. Right, let's call in this Groth module. Where's he at? It's all the way over the other side of the map. Of course it is. And I don't know where last zombie is, so he's going to sleep up sleep up on me, sneak up on me like a weeping angel. Bro, I can hear this module. Where is it at? Am I just stupid? Oh, it's here. It's Dragon Command. Why is it not put up its beacon? Okay, I need to remember they're still going to spawn in without the beam even being on and the round changing. I don't know why. That is such a weird bug. Okay, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Max ammo. That's always nice. Oh, as soon as we got this, we're golden. All right, hang on. Let me shoot my little Gersh thing down. Oh, it's a lot of zombies. And that's the Garoth module done. Okay. Why are they running at me like that? Why are they all still running at me like that? Why are they on fire? What is going on with my game, bro? Right, okay, there we go. Oh, Mangler! Right, he hit my shield, thank God. Another... I don't need this cylinder, bro. I'm gonna get hit. It's so obvious. If I can take this Mangler out without him shooting another one of his things, we're chilling. Or maybe if I can turn around quick enough. But then again, the odds of it actually registering to my shield and me are so small. The Mangler's target finding is so unbelievably broken. Right, no, we killed him. Nice. Right, give me that insta-kill. Round 9 and we haven't been hit once. Right, we should go install these network conduits and then we should go to pack a punch because honestly we've got nothing else to spend our points on it's pointless spending it on perks so why not right, these in there and i'm gonna end the round then we'll shift because it might be valkyrie okay round 10 we've reached our goal i'm still gonna keep going till 15 though 15 is like the ultimate goal bro yeah you be valkyrie right okay where are they landing where are they landing where are they landing i need to see where they're at we could go downstairs to be fair that's probably the safest place for us to be right there we go get rid of him hear another one spawning in get rid of him reload attack reload no don't shoot me there we go get rid of him i hear them zooming about where are they? This is like FNAF. Ooh. And that is max ammo. Nice. Right. All I want to do here is pack a bunch of my Mark 3s and get out. Chuck them in there. We're not going to do the lockdown. We're not going to do anything. We're going to play it safe and leave. We're going to go back to Dragon Command and we're going to chill there. If we get 15 on this, I'll be happy. Let's head back to Dragon Command. And here we are. Home sweet home. Honestly, with the Mark 3s, I don't see us losing. Unless I'm Mangler like, what was that noise? I I've never heard that before, ever. It was like a triple beat. That was the weird... Bro, is that an unsolved East? Easter egg. Okay, we got a nuke there. I'm just gonna grab it just to play it safe. Ooh, 15s actually sound impossible. It's round 12. Mark 3s have definitely came in clutch for this, though. This is why I tried to get the bow for the Rising Drak, because I thought it would be like this, because the Storm Bow, you can just sit in a Wonder Sphere. But we didn't manage to do it. I was paying too much attention to the bonfire rather than paying attention to the zombie who's coming to smack me. Give me a left, right, good night. Okay, you're sprinting towards me. Shoot! Jesus! Hey, they're getting faster now, which I don't like. I need to reload. Shoot that. Right, we could go back a bunch to PPSH, but I honestly don't see a point. We've only got three rounds left to go. Best part of two, to be fair. That should be last. Is he last? Yeah, okay. 13. Nice. He's a little bit of PPSH here, you know. Give it some screen time as, as it is the most iconic COD Zombies weapon. Honestly, that little yellow orb thing that we shoot down could come in so handy because it slows them down so much. Like, look at that. I'm going to spam them, to be fair. Oh, Death Machine. I want that. Can't be risking my life for it. Oh, no. We're chilling. Right, okay. We're cooking with gas here. Round 14. One more to go. We got this. Could be a Valkyrie round, but I'm not too sure. 
No, it's a normal round, thank god. I feel like if we had a Valkyrie round, it would have been worse than, like, the sharpshooter step on Buried. Okay, yeah, and th them little, like, Gersh device things definitely seem to be the way. Can we just talk about, as well, how well BO3 holds up for its age graphically? Like, look at this, man, it's ridiculous. This game came out in, what, 2015? Oh my god, bo 3 is nearly 10 years old. I'm gonna have a crisis midway through recording this video. Let's just finish this challenge, and I'll go take a break, and we'll do revelations, yeah? Jesus Christ, BO3. And there we go, round 15, we are done. I'm gonna go fire myself off into revelations right okay revelations the last map of black ops 3 we are doing zombies chronicles though so it's not the end of the video but we've got here pretty quick i'm not gonna lie gk was the longest one we've done so far so let's make this even longer i guess <laughs> you don't think about it too much you can get away with a knife and all of them okay right it's gonna stay on my toes not take any risks not too many risks like that that was far too risky okay right there we go and that's round give me that shopping free you know you want to no man okay immolation we can spin for some guns since there is a uh, box location in spawn and my god, that is blinding. Right, okay. Let's see if we can pull like Thunder Gun or Apothecary Servant or something. They'd be really useful. The XM53, I really thought that was the Thunder Gun because how big it was. Thunder Gun, let's go. It's definitely a keep up. Okay, the SVG. The Dingo, that's also a really good gun. Okay, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the Dingo. We're gonna keep Dingo. Let's go origin side first. Now there's not really a goal with this map. There's no like power. We can get all the power switches on. We can make that the goal. So we're definitely just gonna be aiming for the round and trying to get this done as fast as possible. There's also the shield pieces. Oh god, they come from everywhere. I should probably be running with a thunder gun out, huh? Right, okay. Shopping free? Shopping free? No. What is that? A round robin? No, it's a raindrops. That really isn't useful to me. Right, we'll head through here, get the mound open. Right, we're heading towards the mob of the dead one. To be fair, camping at uh, a conversion generator. Or a, a corruption engine. Why do I always call them conversion generators? That's like three videos back to back now. Camping at one of these things wouldn't be too bad, to be fair. You don't have any zombies that come from behind you, they only come from the sides. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not have a bad run here. I forgot Keeper starts spawning. Okay, let's try to get a reload in quick. Yep, there we go. And grab the nuke. We'll head over to Varuk now. I am going to pop this, though, because I think this gives you, yeah, extra credit, a perk, and double points. Stamina up, that's perfect. Might as well grab them all. All right, shop of free. That is what I want. Let's get out of here. Grab this nuke. And let's head over to Varukt. There's two box locations here. How small this area is, I was not expecting that. Right, okay, we'll get this open. And we'll start on this corruption engine. Okay, that's three out of four. We're not doing too bad. Okay, let's not reload yet. Right, are we done? Right, we'll head over to Kino now so we can get the DE side of things done. We have more than enough points. We should be chilling. Okay, watch out for spawns. And we'll open these big doors. And we'll do this last corruption engine. Okay, we should be nearly done now. Come on. There we go. And that is Pack-A-Punch done. Right, we'll sort that out in a bit. Percolic? Nope, okay. Electric Cherry comes in clutch. Round Robin also will come in clutch. Is that round? Yes, okay. Right. Oh, I feel another sneeze coming on. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Comically loud sneeze. Right, I think I'm going to sort out Pack-A-Punch once we get 10k. Maybe 12 and a half. Just so we can double pack the dingo. For now, staying here does not seem like a bad idea. You're just chugging along here. I'm not getting too overwhelmed. You know, we're chilling. See, they come from the sides like that. you got to be careful. you got to be careful. I know my stuff. Number one zombies extraordinaire. What do you mean? Right, okay. Grab this max ammo. Another double points. Right, okay. And that is round six. We should probably head out now. I'm going to go get the dingo packer punched. Then we'll come back and double pack it. Or we could play it risky and, you know, just do it, do it without it. Oh, God, I forgot. Bees are on revelations. No. Um, can I use round robin? Yes, I can. All right. Good save from me, honestly. Come on, are we done? Are we done? Right, he's coming around. There we go. All right, hurry up. I need to get through there. All right, nice one. Let's head through and we'll go get our thunder gun packed. Then we'll do the dingo afterwards. I figured we should probably do thunder gun first since it just gives you more ammo. Oh, they're all sprinting at me. Insta kill. Okay, that does make it a bit easier. I pay more attention to the zombies than that. Ooh. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Can they come from behind me? Yeah, I don't think they can. Oh, bees as well. No, that's not fair. Right, chuck that in there. Nice. And chuck this in there. Okay. Right, that's both our guns done. The question is, do we stay in here and just wait a little bit and get double pack? I think we do. I think we do. We play it risky. Two more rounds and we're good. Okay, that green smoke isn't funny. Oh, they can come from behind me. That's not good. That B can go away. All right. No, no, no. I'm going back to D. This is too risky. Quickly get a reload in. Two more rounds. Two more rounds. We can do this. Ooh, okay, we got a reload. Right, we should be good, I think. Are we? Yes. No, maybe so. Yeah, let's go. Right, one more round and we've reached our first goal. Like with all of them, we go for 15, but the first goal is 10. I'm actually amazed at the fact that we've got so far. We got all the corruption engines on. We're just one round away from our goal. We got both our guns packed up and just, we're chilling, bro. I remember this used to hands down be the strategy for getting high rounds on rev. You just can't put one of these with the apothecary servant. But ever since people figured out that staying at Varukt is the fastest, no one really does it anymore. I got like round 72 by just by doing this in the apothecary servant back in the day. Still my highest round on Xbox. No! Not bro! One round away! No, that's not fair! 
Oh, okay, right. We didn't pass revelations. That's not fair. All right, on to act. Oh, hour two of no internet. I'm slowly losing my dopamine receptors. I'm not joking. There are people working on my internet right now as we speak. So all I can do is record COD zombies. As if I don't already do that enough. All right, Nocturne and Toten. This is one of the most boring maps. So I'm going to be overly energetic for no reason other than the fact I'm going to be falling asleep otherwise. This is the last map I think we're probably going to fail on. Due to the fact that, like, look at this, bro. They take so long to even come through the windows until, like, round 15. Okay, be careful. Because he's, I don't for some reason, he's really fast. There. There we go. And that is round. We're we gonna get a shopping free. No, nope, but is that an emulation? Yes, it is. Okay. Either or would have done that. I just really want to hit the box. Okay, let's get these popped in here. Uh, there we go. And let's get spinning. Since there's only one box location, it's instant. Come on, something good. AK-74U. That's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. The M8 BO2 gun. Gorgon, terrible. Vespa, not bad. Just runs out of ammo in 0.2 nanoseconds. The L car 9. Do I need to even say anything more? The ICR1, good, but just has no ammo. XM53, Jesus Christ. Christ, bro, what does my box look today? RPK, that is a very good gun. We're keeping that. Cuda, not bad. Pretty much like the MP5. The MX Garand, no, 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 no. The Weevil, it's got a lot of ammo, but it just really doesn't hold up. The Annihilator, it's always good to have. HVK, we get one more box hit in here. The ICR one, I'm keeping the HVK. Not too bad. HVK and RPK should hold us over. At least till round 10. Where is this last zombie? There he is. Right, cool. And that is round. Okay, getting through this round, not too difficult. I just want to try and kill as many as I can before I pick up that nuke, but I think I'll end the round anyway to be fair what are we saying yeah there we go right round four hopefully things should start to pick up a little bit here i hope so because this map puts me to sleep man okay they stay a little bit further back from the windows just so they don't actually reach through and grab me you also need to keep an eye on this door here and i think i'm just probably going to spend most of my time in this room here because it's got the least amount of spawns we'll keep that door shut could go camp upstairs but that would be even slower okay they are starting to funnel through a little bit more now since it is round four but we should be okay so stay out of their path then and that carpenter's going to slow us down a bunch i'm not even gonna lie okay insta kill nice where's our last guy at there's one our last guy will be sprinting since it's round four i think there we go halfway there very nice hit the box again why not try to get thunder gun haymaker Ooh, that's such a shout Fuck it, we'll take it over the HVK. Give the RPK some screen time here since we've only shot 12 bullets total. Since we pulled the thing anyway. So glad they added the OG guns back into this game once they uh, did Zombies Chronicles, man. It would have been a crime to start with the MR6 on the older maps. Because I remember that was a thing for a while when Zombies Chronicles first released. Also, this is probably something you haven't heard me say in a while. Zombies Chronicles 2. When is that happening, man? There was so much hype stirred around it. It's just gone. I, I, I don't know what's happened. Like, we were saying that we were going to get released before 2024. And then it was first out it was before MW. W3 was going to release, like, what? I just, I don't know when we're getting a release of Die Rise Remastered, and it's quite sad, because you saw the amount of videos I made on that subject. It was crazy how much hype that I was stirring up. That's round six, anyway. They really bottled it with that, man. So hard to keep giving fluid commentary while I'm doing this, man. My priorities are all over the place, and Nocturne and Totten, you get, like, jump-scared with zombies, so, like that. And also finding stuff to talk about when we're playing Noct, you know, the most bare-bones map known to man is quite difficult to bear with. I've only just unlocked Red Hex camo. What? We should be coming to the close of round six now. Yeah, there we go. Round seven. Nice. All the windows are unboarded as well, so this should be quite quick. Yeah, they're definitely starting to flow in a lot faster now. Max ammo as well. Perfect. We can start using the haymaker a bit more. Oh my god, he's another max ammo? He was getting way too close for comfort there. Right, okay, we should be coming to the close of round seven now. I don't think there should be many more. I'm still yet to see a sprinter. There we go. Right, round eight. Two more to go. So by the end of this video, I could technically say I've survived over a hundred rounds without getting hit. With a massive quotation mark around it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, running a bit low on Haymaker ammo. We should be okay, though. Okay, yep. There's definitely starting to jog a bit. Okay, I don't like how close they're getting. You know, they say you should be careful what you wish for, and one of these things with Nocturne and Totten, especially, especially with this challenge, is speed. Okay, we got a nuke here. That might end the round. Yes, it did. Okay, that's round nine. Nice. Literally having to peek corners in COD Zombies. How far have I came? Actually a new low. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. One more round. Oh, reload, reload, reload. That is a lot of them for round nine. Why are they still still going so slow though All right okay that is round 10 very nice okay let's go 15 okay we're not doing too bad got a death machine there but i always feel like i'm cheating when i pick up death machines we are running a bit low on ammo as well oh god no oh bro oh okay well that, uh, that that's bittersweet to be fair we died as well all right on the Varukt. Okay, Varukt, the second World of War map that we're playing today. Well, 
Kind of. The Giants technically have remaked the Reese, but whatever. The spawns are a lot quicker than Knock, though. I will give it that. And we need to stay far away from these windows. There we go. Get a quick kill. Far enough away so they can't smack me still. And also stay away from bunched up windows because that's just... Oh, my God. I didn't realize it came through. Right, there's one. There's two. And there is three. And there we go. That's round. Very nice. Nice to know that so far we haven't gone out on round one. Okay, we really got to be careful on this map because it's so close quarters. Even on round two, they could probably sneak up behind me while I'm knifing one at a window. Okay, that's another one gone. Another one gone. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking, especially on Verrucked, man. Right, okay. Gobblegum, I need a shopping free or something. It's an emulation. I will take it, though. Do need a decent weapon, and that will help out. Okay, there's one. There's two. Ooh, jump back. Ooh, the lunges. No, no, no. Right, okay. Nuke perfect. Let's head up here. Uh, we'll grab an MP40. Get this door open as well. And just like that, we're so close to power. 750 points away. That's fine. I'm quite glad they actually ported the MP40 over to the World at War maps. But like the HG40 just wouldn't have fitted at all. Can't actually remember if they used that up until they ported the other ones over. Okay, let's get this power door open. And flick this on. The max ammo. Lovely. Reload the grab it. Get some extra points for the M1911 here. Although, I think we're just going to stay in this room here. I don't really want to go further. And I want to have a camping spot. I'm going to pop these emulation liquidations. Try to get a better gun here. We are. Wonder what first. Hit that is insane. A Mexico Rand, that's terrible. Where's this last zombie, man? Okay, the dingo. I think we're set, honestly. Wonder Wolf and Dingo sounds like a bit of me, and that is round. As long as we cover the front and the right, we're chilling. Things might get a little bit hectic though towards the later side of things, just because they'll all be sprinting by probably at round 11. So we get a reload in. Nice that we have the fast mags attachment on weapon kits. So reloads aren't as terrible impact. And there's no pack a bunch machine on this map, so it's just as well we have it. And that is round. Okay, round five. Halfway there already, not bad. Not bad. Still yet to use the Wonder Wolf because we're probably not going to be training much. But it's still nice to have because it will slow them down if, I, like, if I'm in a pinch or something. They're starting to pick up the pace again. Kind of like Knacked, but not as slow. Dingo is definitely putting the work in here. Suppose we can try out the Wonder Wolf. Why not? Oh, oh it's wasted a shot. I didn't realize he didn't have his head on. Right, okay. Shoot that down there. Such a satisfying Wonder Weapon, man. And there we go. Round six. Four more to go. Right, okay. They're going to start speeding up again. We are running a little bit low on ammo for the Dingo as well. So probably watch how much I'm using. Although the box is right there. I prefer to not have to trade it out if you get what I mean. Oh god. Okay, reload. There we go. Double points as well. I'm not spending my points on basically anything, but, you know, cheers. God, I've never been so stressed recording a video in my life. And that is round. Okay. I'm going to swap this dingo out because we don't get dog rounds, unfortunately, so we might as well get it done now before we run out of ammo. The Brecci. Honestly, I'm going to keep it. For now, at least. Its range is actually insane for a shotgun. It also has quite a nice spread on it as well, so it kills multiple in one shot. Got a nuke thing. I'm going to try to kill as many as possible. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. We're chilling. All right, another max ammo. Shoot him with a Wonder Wolf, because why not? And run out here and grab the nuke. There we go. Round. Round eight. Honestly, this one hasn't been so bad. I forgot you can kind of camp in here with this door shut. I was dreading this one quite bad. As long as we get the round 10, though, I'm happy. I feel like I'm playing balloons or something, man. This is like tower defense. Oh, God. A bit too close for comfort there. All right, and that is round. Okay, one more to go, and then we've reached first goal. Let's go. Hopefully, they're not too bad this round. I doubt it. It's only round nine. Say and that there are rounds like Zetable that happened when we got th just surprise attacked on like round four or whatever it was when we're trying to do the water generator thing. Okay, got an insta kill here. Definitely do some damage with the Brecci. And that's round. Okay, round 10. Okay, we are running out of ammo in here. We've reached round 10, which is good. Let's try not get hit here. Oh my god. Thank god they stopped. Right, it's got the bootlegger. Okay, that's a few of them. Why is it as soon as yeah, round 10 that they all start ramping up on like double time? Oh my god, no. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's Baruch done. At least we got the round 10. Right, okay, the last World of War map we're playing today. Shinonuma. I don't know how to feel about Shinonuma. It's definitely not my favorite World of War map, but mm, I don't know. Also, the mud and getting hit is going to be terrible. Oh, I forgot how slow the spawns are as well. At least quick revives in the spawn room, but we can't even pick that up because there's no point. Right, okay. Keep killing as many as we can. Get through the earlier rounds. Just got to get to round 10. We don't even necessarily have to open many of the doors because there's no power switch on this. We just kind of need to make it to the box. Come on, where's this last zombie, man? There we go. Okay, we got more spawns through now. Bro, my attention span is not built for Shinonuma anymore. Really like to get this one done ASAP. Is this going to be... That's a perkaholic. No! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That was a bit of a jump scare. There we go. All right, let's head downstairs. We'll hit the box. And M8A7, I'll take it. For now, at least. Where's this last zombie at? There we are. Very nice. 
And now they're on the bottom floor, I feel a little bit better. There's not as many spawns. And the outside part as well is also quite nice. Don't even think I'm going to open this door up because it just opens it up to that whole other area out there. We can use the trap, I guess. But we don't need the perks that are over there. And it would be nice to just have the spawns minimized. Now we are on round three. Seven more rounds to go. And then we're there. You know, I give the M887 a lot of rap because it was literally the BO2 gun. But it's honestly not even that bad. And it is leagues better compared to the Black Ops 2 one. I just don't like it. Spin the box again. Why not? We'll get rid of the M1911. I get a wonder what. PPSH, I will take that. Where is this last zombie, man? Okay, there we go. Right, round four. I say this every time, but man, is the Zetsubo no Shima round change a nice touch. They did really try to link all the maps together in the end, didn't they? It's very nice. Man, am I tired. I didn't pull an all-nighter like la like yesterday. I've been recording this video for two days, but I'm just, I, I don't know, just lately I've been really tired. I don't know why. Gotta stay on that grind, though. Especially during January, man. It's a busy month. Okay, death machine there. I'm gonna pick that up just for safety. Don't usually like picking them up because I feel like I'm cheating. But, okay, I think that's round, round five, nice, okay. Death Machine definitely helped out there. Shout out to Nintendo Repair for fixing my Nintendo Switch. Right Joy-Con rail broke. It wouldn't stick with my controller, bro. They're already coming out to fix it. Well, UPS already coming out for the label, which well, I'm going to be cracking on about probably for the entire video, but, you know. They're really taking the mick with picking up this label, though. But yeah, man, I missed my Nintendo Switch. I was playing Zelda the other day, and the right Joy-Con just stopped working. I was so unbelievably mad. Still waiting on how much it's going to co cost to get it fixed, though, so who knows. Okay, this isn't too bad. We're working on both sides here. The PPSH has a lot of ammo, so don't have to reload often, and even when we do, it takes two seconds. Oh my god, I don't know if that's sure. Like, you heard that on video, but my throat just made the weirdest noise when I yawned. If not, I did just make an incredibly weird noise in my throat. Wow, that was really weird. <laughs> I'm sure you all know what I mean, but if I didn't sound loud enough for it to appear on camera, I'm gonna look like a bit of a tit. Right, okay. Round six. Okay, they're starting to sprint now. As per usual, we expect this. We expect this. We're in a bit low on ammo on the PPSH though, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. But our trusty BO2 gun. To be fair, even for round six, they're still shambling. Shido Numa's just a really slow map in general. The last few spawns should be trickling through now. I'm gonna hit the box again because we're probably gonna need to get rid of this PPSH. BRM. Mm, I don't really want that. Spin again. The Shiva. I don't want that even more. There's a zombie running towards me. There we go. Okay, that's round. Round seven. The teddy bear. Oh, now we've actually got to open doors. No. Oh, dog round. Okay. Okay, that works out, that works out. Got a nice little round skip here. Okay, yeah, they pop like balloons. It's only round seven. I remember when dog rounds were something to be feared. And then I, an actual challenge for a max ammo, but nah. This is literally, like, spoon-fed to you. It's ridiculous. Where is this box at? It's not this side. Is it over this side? Nope. Here? No. Wait, hang on, where is the box? Oh, no, it is on the left side. I just couldn't see. Let's try and not get caught in the mud here. So you slide into our advantage. Stay on the wooden stuff. Whatever perk we hear is gonna be... Whatever perk we hear, whatever perk we get here is not gonna be any, any use to me. The Annihilator. It's not really any of use to me either. Oh my god, please! Okay. Raygun, I'm out of here. Okay, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh my god, get me out of here. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. The Shino Numa mud is actually something to be afraid of when it comes to especially doing challenges like this. You know what? Something I've never done? Use the zip line. Is that literally all it is? Just, just takes you from, from here to the top. Okay, fair enough. Pretty innovative for a World at War map, though, I won't lie. Actually, a pretty decent camping spot, to be fair. We've got one more round to go as well. We're doing great. As long as we don't run out of ammo and they don't get too close like that, we'll be fine. Some nuke there as well. Let's do this. Right, let's kill the rest of this horde. Use my ray gun a bit. Uh, that's should be enough, I think. We good? Round end? Yeah, let's go. Okay, round 10. All right, let's go to 15. Okay, we're running a bit low on ammo. We do have a ray gun left, though. Using the ray gun on the OG maps does bring back a lot of memories, man. Okay, no. Oh, bro. I was about to go off in, like, a, a monologue about how much I love zombies. Nah, fuck this game, man. It, it's terrible. Oh, uh, okay, right, whatever. Zombies map here. Kino de Tosen. Definitely, hands down, one of my favorite BO1 maps, although it didn't really innovate much. But, nonetheless, we've still got to play because it's in BO3, and can I just say how stunning and then this map looks in Black Ops 3's engine. Like, my God. They might not have picked the best selection of maps, but the stuff they did with the graphics to them, man, is just unbelievable. Could you imagine going back in time and showing this to someone in, like, what? When did BO1 come out? Like, 2009? All right, okay, and that is round. Round two. We should probably hit up the gobblegum machine, actually, to see if we can pop a shop and free. And right off the bat, we did get one. Nice. All right, okay, let's run through. I'm gonna grab an RK5 off the wall, if it would let me. Jesus.
Jesus. There we go. Box is there. This door will open. I'm gonna also quickly grab an MP40. Get this door open. This one. And the power switch is just here. There we are. And we'll loop around and get the rest of the map open as well. We'll go down here. Head through this way. This one. We'll also grab double tap because it's actually kind of useful to us. Get this one open. And that is all the doors we can get open without opening the death door. So we're chilling. And just like that, the entire map is in fact open. Insane what gobblegums can do to the flow of a game, man. That is microtransactions for you, though. Get this pad linked, and that is officially literally everything done. Oh, yeah, Nova Crawlers. I forgot they're a thing. Come on, where's this last zombie at? And that is round. Okay, round three. Seven more to go. I think I said the exact same thing on Shinonuma. Not gonna grab that carbon because it will just slow us down. I was say Shinonuma. Kino de Toten has a massive open playing field, though, on the stage, so we should be okay in regards we're getting a hit. As long as they don't sneak up behind me, we should be fine. MP40 will do us just fine for now. We might want to hit later on to get the Thunder Gun, though. Just more as a safety measure. We don't really need it since we're not going for the super high rounds. But, you know, it'd be nice to just get them out of my face whenever I need to. And that is round. Of course, the rounds are going to go a little bit slow just because we use shopping free, but that's okay. Got Nova Crawlers spawning in now. I actually need to be really careful of that because I'm going to say that counts as a hit. Ooh, that could have as well if we weren't careful. Okay, I think I'm going to back trail on myself a little bit just so we can go hit the box. Do you want to try to kill all the spawns that are in here before moving rooms, though, just so we don't make it go even slower than it needs to? Okay, I think there should be a couple. Couple more left. Are right, we done? Yep, there we go. Nice. Next round will probably be a dog round as well. Just gotta try to stay on my toes. No? Okay. Right, it's round six for a dog round. All right, box was all the way back in spawn. Okay, please give me the thunder gun or something that on par with it. The Gorgon. That is not on par, nor the thunder gun. Oh, and that is the thunder gun, though. Oh my god, our box look today has been mint. The M16 as well. How iconic. I think I'm gonna hang on to these two guns. Okay, they're starting to sprint now, and there's also a little bit more Nova 6 action going on, so I'm just gonna try and keep my distance. Come on, we must be nearly done with this round. Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, a couple more, a couple more. There we go. Done. Round six. Okay, this should be a dog round, hopefully. Ooh, okay, right, that's a few Nova Crawlers. I guess we're staying behind the counter for this round. Okay, that gas cleared. We can move through. We're getting there. We're getting there. Still yet to be hit. Really want to get the round 10 and be over with this one. I feel like this is like one of the ones I should be able to do. And if I can't, I'll be so annoyed with myself. And that is the most troll placement for a drop ever. Okay, we need some sort of bullet gun here. I can't be using the thunder gun all the time. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He was so close. That was ridiculous. Okay, round seven. Come on, something decent. The VMP, that is something decent. And we got our dog round. Very nice, very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 almost got... Oh, I need to recover from that. Uh, it's like a FNAF jump scare, man. All right, round eight. Two more to go, two more to go. We can do this. Oh, okay, too close, too close. It's a nuke there. I would grab that, but I feel like if we don't kill enough here, when it's not going to really end the round, and that's kind of pointless. Use the thunder gun a little bit here. Try to kill off the excess before we grab it. Right, okay, let's grab it now. Possibly. I don't know. I don't feel like we killed enough. Nah, okay. Okay, that should be round, maybe, soon-ish. I can never tell with Kino, man, because all the spawns, especially on BO3, are always so diverse, and the Nova Crawlers are, like, silent. Okay, that's round. Cool. All right, grab this double points. And I think after this round, we'll go pack a punch, and then we'll go to 15. All right, I'm on the VMP. Don't know whether to just stick the round out with the Thunder Gun, or we'll get VMP ammo. Ooh, okay, that was close. All right, we're gonna have to... Oh, really? Round 9? Round 9? Oh, okay. Right, okay, our second last BO1 map. Ascension. Is that our second last? No, we got Shangri-La. Oh, I'm being silly. Okay, right. Oh, shopping free straight off the bat as well. We're chilling. Right, okay, let's go through this way. Yeah, 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 Gersh. I'm going to repair your mechanism, blah, blah, blah. Head up here. Head up one more flight. And once we're up here, there we go. Power. And everything becomes a YouTube thumbnail. Oh, my God. Right, okay, we'll head up here. Get this open. Grab a HVK off the wall. Uh, grab a sickle as well. That is such a sick animation. Head back down here. Do 180. Head through here. Get this gate open. Go over here. I don't know if we're going to have time for this. Oh, it'll be close. Just about. Okay. We need to get that door. That's literally the only door on the map we didn't get open. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there's another zombie there. And we're going to use the sickle. It is such a good melee weapon. Oh, and that door. I tell a lie. Let's kill this guy. And this guy because round one is always the easiest, especially if you've got something like this where the melee is just ridiculously powerful and ridiculously quick. Shoot this guy because he's not coming towards us. Get rid of you. And finally him. He should be the last one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, round two. Right, we'll start doing these Lunar Landers. The only reason why I wanted I wanted some extra points to go get the other Lunar Lander open so we didn't have to wait to do all three of them. Okay, we need to wait for that thing to cool down. And it's already done. Okay, hang on. I just want to wait for the spawns that probably came through here. Yeah, see? They're all, they're all put, uh, 
cooling through now. It's only round two, so it shouldn't take too long to wipe them out. Right, okay, there we go. Let's go take this Lunar Lander back over to spawn. Oh my god, has this challenge been exhausting to record? We can't get far, and we sometimes get to round 10. I actually didn't think it'd be this hard. I don't realize how often you actually get hit without dying in zombies. It's ridiculous. How far they can swipe you from as well is also ridiculous. Okay, that thing's going off. Let's not die. Okay, let's go. Go do the one where the sickles are. Uh, get rid of him. Get rid of him as well. It's very nice knowing that I can just get rid of them with knifing. I think picking up the sickle was definitely a good call. Get rid of these two. It's a max ammo as well. Perfect. And call this lander in. Could they have made a more satisfying wonder weapon? Well, I suppose if they added like a karambit or something into zombies, it would have been sick. They did that in BO4, actually. They didn't really do much with it, though. Kill the rest of these spawns, then. Spin the gobblegum machine. Might get around robin here. That could definitely be it. No, it's simulation. Okay, what is this? Raindrops. That was round robin, man. Right, okay, that is round. Nice. Right, let's move. And I think this should be two out of three. Yes, it is. Very nice. We also need to watch out for monkey rounds because they sneak up on you hard and they're also really hard to shoot. Okay, that's him dead. Right, our last lunar lander's in the junkyard, so we can actually go through this way. And take a left. Get this door open. This is the one we missed out on shopping free. And call it in. Honestly, Ascension has one of my favorite pack-a-punch systems ever. It's not too simple like Kino's, and it's not too hard either. Clear out the rest of round four, and then we'll take off towards spawn. Shouldn't be many more zombies now. And that is last. Okay. Right, round five. Please don't be a monkey round. I don't like them. They're so small and annoying. Okay, and I think that is the rocket initialized. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's not get hit now. We've just got Pack a Punch unlocked. And get the rocket launched. Get the box as well. We might get the Ghost devices or something cool. FFAR. Not bad. Thundergun? Thundergun question mark? Nah. The, the CUDA? It's decent. It's decent. The FFAR is definitely better though. The 48 Dredge. Oh, we're getting back into a corner a little bit. Hit the box one more time. Try to get rid of the CUDA. Rigor Mark 2, I will take. And that is round. Okay, round 6. We are doing so well. Four more to go. It's not even monkey round yet. Let's go. Definitely speed things up with raindrops too. Get a couple of nukes and stuff after this round. We'll probably grab a round robin if we're lucky enough from the gobblegum machine to get rid of the monkeys. Not that we even have perks. I just don't want them to sneak up on us. Okay, okay, okay. Reload, reload. Nuke, perfect. Let's get another one spawned in here. Oh, I accidentally picked up a perk. Now they're gonna go for jug. Okay, that's round. All right, let's see here. Round robin. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's hit the box here. Try to get my choice girls or like Gersh's or something. Pharaoh? That's not even monkey round yet. What? Even though we're only one hit. It does make me feel a little bit safer now that we have Jug. Probably could have made it a rule where if we pick up Jug, you get two hits or something, but nah. It's too far into this run to start bending the goalposts now. Okay, we got a death machine. Actually use a bit of the Mark II here. We've barely used it. We haven't used it at all, actually. Okay, that's round. It should be monkey round now. I think this is the latest it can be. We're just gonna skip it, though, anyway. It's fine. Yep, yep, do your thing, do your thing, but let me go. Please tell me I can skip monkey rounds, please. Um... Can you not skip monkey rounds? Uh, okay, I, I, I guess you can't. They're all gonna be sitting around Jug, aren't they? Can you just go away? I don't even need this perk. He's just annoying. Stay away. Oh my god, really? Nah, 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 nah. These things are so annoying, bro. Okay, okay. On to Shangri-La. Oh, that is annoying. I wasn't even next to him. Right, okay. This is the second last BO1 map. Shangri-La. You already know how I feel about Shangri-La. I don't really like it, but we gotta play it. We gotta play it. We gotta play it. I don't really like most maps in Zombies Chronicles, apart from, like, Origins and, uh... Oh my god. Do I only like Origins in Zombies Chronicles? Bro, am I, have I been blinded by nostalgia? Nah, I don't mind most of them, but I wouldn't really pick a lot of them over the other ones. Like, the World at War maps, why would I pick Verrucked over Shinonuma the other way around? I don't get it. Sorry if you just heard a scramble in there. My UPS driver came. That is very, very fitting, considering this whole story arc's been going on throughout this entire video. Oh, I'm all pumped up now. I love Shangri-La, what do you mean? No, I'm joking, I really don't, I hate this map. <laughs> Alright, where's my RK5 at? There it is. Okay, we'll grab this. Literally looks like a YouTube thumbnail, by the way. Look how saturated everything is. Okay, I think that's round. Okay. Go hit up the gobblegum machine. Bless us up with the shopping free. No, okay, it hates us. I'll take the uh, perkaholic though. My god, you reload quickly up with the RK5 or fast mags and speed cooler, man. It's ridiculous. Now my Nintendo Switch is being whisked off to wherever the Nintendo repair center is. They're probably gonna charge me god knows how much to get it fixed. Even though it wasn't my fault. But, you know, the console's probably out of warranty or whatever. Go away, monkey. Don't smack me. You're not funny. The RK5. And that is round. Okay, are we doing starting room challenge? We'll go one more round in the starting room, yeah? And then we'll move. Right, okay, come on, please. Something decent. Raindrops. That is not what I wanted. These rounds are going by quick, man. Oh, I'm very excited, though, about my Switch. Gonna be playing Tears of the Kingdom as soon as it gets back to me. I don't care how much it costs. 
Oh no, the monkey's gonna be here. Where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no! Oh my god, bro! Round four? We're three minutes in! Oh, whatever, 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 whatever. Right, okay, here we are. Area 51, the last map. Well, moon. <laughs> in BO1, at least. We still got origins after this. I am not taking any chances. I'm keeping my back to this teleport, and we are leaving as soon as we can. We are leaving ASAP. First, I'm gonna drain all my ammo. Okay, spin a gobble gum as well. Maybe get a shot and free straight off the bat. We do, okay. Thing is, and then jump on the pad. Grab the PES. Stick it on. Hurry up. Let me go through. There we go. All right, give me the RK5. Get this open. Get this door open. See, the problem is we're shopping free on moon is that there's low grab before you turn on the power, and it's just really annoying. There we go. Get this on. Oh, my God. The lag spike was unreal there. This door open. Get this one open. This one. Then this one. And then let's try to launch over to the other side. Oh, don't miss. Don't miss. Never mind. We have not got enough time. Enough. Enough time. But in any way, we're literally right where we want to be. Biodome. We're not moving from here. Like, not once. Maybe to grab another gun, but there's no reason for us to leave. I don't think there's any war buys in here, but I know there's definitely one in the laboratory that's just adjacent to it, so we can just survive off that. Biodome's a nice, big, perfect open space for a challenge like this. Nothing can go wrong, surely. Bro, and that's Tunnel 6 going already. I just heard it, I just heard the woman say, oh, excavate a pie, blah, blah, blah. You know, the one time I needed it for that Black Ops 1 video and it doesn't do it? Outrageous behavior. Okay, I think I'm going to go run and buy this wall buy just now, just so we don't have to worry about it. I need to keep an eye on the astronaut as well. What is the wall buy in here? Oh, it's the VMP. Okay. It's actually a really good replacement for the MP5. I think they should have put the CUDA there, personally. Try to get a round robin so we can speed some things up. It's this round robin. Perfect. Okay. All right, we'll end this round, then use it. Honestly, Moon genuinely couldn't be a bit, like, a more perfect map for a challenge like this. It's so open with the biodome area. Only true Roman WOGs remember when I had 8th place for world record on moon. Sad times, sad times. Maybe I'll go for it again in another video. Come on, where's this last zombie at? There we go, that's round right. We can skip this round too. Let's go to round 5. And we're halfway there. Okay, we are doing very, very well. Feeling quite confident about this one, honestly. Yeah, Tunnel 6 is gone, bro. Okay, my character just said his quote about the astronaut. Where's he at? I need him gone. Can't be having him jump scaring me. Yeah, Tunnel 6 is gone. <laughs> Not even gonna bother with it. We don't need it. Okay, they're starting to sprint a little bit now, which is fine. The VMP has a really high rate of fire, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, we should go grab some ammo, and we'll head on back through. Let's make sure the astronaut isn't there. Is he here? Nope. Right, grab this. Last zombie should be somewhere around here. Yep, there he is. That wasn't last? What? Right, there we go. Are we done? No? Okay. Game hates me. Alright, nice. There we go. Also got a raindrops just to seal the deal. We can pop some nukes in whenever we need to, to speed things up even more. Max ammo. Perfect. We're already running a bit low. Really should probably start training now, but we'll just see how this goes. VMP's dropping off just a tad. If we're hitting heads though, it's still fine. Okay, we've got some more RK5 on which we can burn through. Just a little bit of that, because that is still killing them. Has dropped off heavily though. We've got a nuke. That should probably end the round. Yep, nice. Okay, round seven. Grab some more ammo for the VMP and we'll head back through. Oh, I didn't mean to launch off that. Please let me land on here. Okay. What the fuck? I jumped off the pad and it still launched me. That was so weird. Okay, three more rounds. We can do this. It's fine. We're chilling. Okay, let's not die. I just absolutely juked some zombie. It's RK5. is starting to suck. Okay, pop a nuke in here. Is that, out? is that round end? Yes, it is. Okay, I really thought it wasn't going to be there. Two more rounds. Two more rounds. We can actually spin the box as well now. The Galil, what a classic. Locust, not for me. Oh, I hear him behind me. 48 dredge. Oh, I wish I didn't take this thing. Just going to keep the Galil out. What an absolute classic of a weapon. Be wrong not to use it on moon. I hate how all the guns come with, like, pre-attached weapon kits. I really wish they were just the default ones. Kind of ruins my emerging... Emerging? Emer... Is it emerging? No, emer... Bro! How do you say that word? Immersion! It's immersion. Yeah, it ruins my immersion. Okay, we should nearly be just about done here. There we go, round nine. Okay, one more to go, then we're done. Right, tunnel 11's gone too. We are really getting boxed in here, I won't lie. There's a nuke there, I'm gonna wait. It's still a little bit. Use the 40 edge edge. It is a one-burst headshot after all. Okay, get rid of that. And there we go, that is round okay. So, because I'm so generous and I'm so nice, we're gonna end this one here, and I'm gonna let you see Origins early. Because I'm sure that's the one you guys have all been waiting for if you've been watching this long. Alright, off we go. Okay, the last one, Origins. Now, there is so much we can do, and it'd be so impressive if we could manage to grab ourselves a staff here, but who knows what's gonna happen. We could just get, get hit, like, right here. Who knows, who knows. I am so excited to try and grab a staff. You have no idea. Here, we've got some zombies here. It's nice that they don't pile up on Origins, because they already have broke through by the time 
time we've done the first generator. I think I'm probably going to go for the ice stuff, so we're going to try to get this round end as fast as I can. Got a zombie over there as well. Just make sure and check my angles and stuff like that. Just so I'm not, you know, asking to get hit. Right, okay. What are we getting? Nothing, bro. Really? I don't want immolation. Right, is it raining? Nope, it's not even snow. Okay. Let's grab this double point here and we'll start building some more points. It's a lot of zombies. Oh, we've run out of ammo. Okay, hang on. Ooh, slide past him. Grab this RK5. And let's keep building points here. There's nothing we can get done on this round if we're going for the ice staff and we haven't pulled chopping free, so we might as well knife him. Grab a shovel. And that is round. Okay, please be snowing. It is still not snowing. Okay, wait, is it? No, it's not. Right, we have a shield piece there, though. We can press on for now, but we really do need, like, a shopping free or something. Right, we get this generator on, too. Gotta be careful when we're doing these gens as well. Once actual zombies start getting thrown at the mix, it might be game over. Oh, because they do that. They, like, backpedal. You know, for being rotting corpses, they're pretty smart. Okay, I'm not gonna get myself cornered with six bullets. <laughs> Ooh, forgot one spawns there. We almost got hit. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those maps, isn't it? So much more fun than playing, like, the World at War maps where you just kind of pick a corner and survive. I think the box is over on this side as well, which is always brilliant. Right, we'll get this on. We'll just loop these zombies around. Okay, yeah, that's what I mean. They're smart. They go, like, left and right and stuff. It's, ah. Uh, I say BO4's pattern's bad, but, like, BO3's is still quite bad. <laughs> right, okay. Get this on. There is still a few coming through. I, I thought that was last. Uh, the Dracon, it'll do for now. Get away from me. Right, okay. Round should be nearly done. All right, we'll hit this zombie blood and we'll go run back to spawn. Is it snowing? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. All right, give me the ice staff piece. Nope. I want a shopping free. And that is what I will get. Nice. Let's go get the rest of the map open then. All right, give me the piece. Yes, nice. We just gotta keep running. I'm just gonna run past any zombies I see. We're chilling, we're chilling. That open. This open on the way around. I'm gonna grab an MP40 off the wall once we reach it. We are. And I wanna go get Gen 6 open, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. I usually always pick Gen 6 over Gen 5. Saying that, I could probably get Gen 5 as well here. Oh, the mound as well. I forgot about the mound. No. Alright, we can get the mound and the first door of Gen 6 open. That'll do. Saying that, we're even gonna get the first door of Gen 6. Come on. No way. I've never missed that before. Oh my god. Alright, it's fine. We can go get the other uh, ice staff pieces. Hopefully there's a buildable at the first door. Although I think we're going to have enough spawns to get past that. That's a robot. That's a robot. That's a robot. Right, I'm going to stay by Gen 4. It's my safe space. I right, don't want to end the round because I want my ice staff. Right, I'm going to go look for the pieces now that the robots are cleared. And most of the zombies have. Right, ice staff piece. No, zombie. Ugh. Okay, there's not a, build uh, not a buildable. If there's not a dig site there, there should be one around this corner. Oh, there's usually one like on a corner somewhere. Where is it? There's our shield piece. No way the Gen 4 5 dig sites are all gone. I refuse to believe that. There's only one. One of them has to have the piece, so that it literally can't be. Bro, I'm actually baffled. Where is this thing? I've never had not enough dig sites spawn in. What? Right, let's go check Gen 6 out. Could be one there. I don't think we're getting uh, wind staff this round, though, because of that. That is really, really annoying. Oh, this robot needs to hurry up and shift as well. Okay, no dig site here either. What? Maybe there's one upstairs. Not one here either. Is there one on the site? There's got to be one on the site, surely. Yeah, there. Right, okay. Gen 6 piece, nice. Maybe I'm just absolutely tripping. Is there a one on the tank path or something? I actually can't believe there's no dig sites here. What, man? This is baffling. Oh, wait, no, there. I'm just blind. There we go. Right, wind staff built. Wind staff. Ice staff, Jesus. You guys are going to have to book my dementia test sooner or later. I'm losing my mind, man. Also, UPS. Yeah, the postal service. Can you hurry up? I've been waiting since like 11.45 when you said you were going to come collect my parcel. Come on, bro. I already know one of you are watching my videos. Go get the rest of these generators on then. Okay, Gen 4. We also need to go grab that ice disc and all the gramophone pieces. and All the gramophone pieces? Yeah, pieces. I knew I said that for a reason, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, bro. No. Really? Re that's how or that's how we end the video. You're joking. Okay. Origins round five. But technically, we got a staff built because we got all three. But not really. Oh, that is so annoying. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free and you can always change your, la change your, la change your mind later. See, man, I'm just not caught off with this. I'm not caught off with this whole YouTube thing.